you. In the aftermath of a deadly attack, some wonder if things could have been done differently. First responders use every opportunity to learn from horrible events. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan learned, it's in an effort to save more lives in the event something horrible happens. And you can do 10 bullet entrance wounds in about 15 minutes. How can something be terrible and useful at the same time? We have a head injury that's up here. He's vomited, but the reason he's vomited is because he has blunt force trauma in the abdomen area. It's terrible that people have to think about the reality that bad things happen in America. Useful and that first responders have gotten so good. We have an active shooter, active shooter. That in order for them to get any better at responding to horrible tragedies, they have to train with this level of realism. In modern day times, we have to to deal with things that uh, unfortunately terrorist events, other mass casualty um, scenarios. These are first responders from around the globe. Today they faced three difficult mock situations. A mass shooting, a terrorist attack involving a truck, and a chemical gas leak. They're all simulations but based on real situations that first responders have dealt with before. It's always going to be in the back of your mind. Um, and then it just brings on the urgency of how much we need to train more. Uh, we can train all the time, but it's trying to be prepared for the unknown. One red and three yellow from the fifth of Broadway. Everything was planned in this event. Gunfire to kick off the drills. Fake victims, fake injuries. But it's detailed enough that their symptoms give real experience. The chemical leak requires special consideration. First responders suit up to rescue the victims. We're going into this area over here to our left. The gunshot victims from a mass shooting, the teams move together to rescue everyone. Level one trauma, it's uh, typically life or death. All of the victims are taken to ambulances that are on standby where the simulation ends. Let's go with that cop right there. A learning experience that will hopefully save lives. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Now this training is a part of the EMS World Expo. It's the largest expo of its kind in the world.